Ghana's President Nana Akufo-Addo has delivered his first State of the Nation address for this year, promising to turn the economy around. The West African country continues to reel under high inflation and a weakening currency. Many Ghanaians say they can no longer cope with the high living cost. The CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rafai reports from Accra. The moment a president tries to restore hope amid a struggling economy. Ghana's total debt is now nearly $50 billion and has reached an unsustainable level at about 94% of GDP. That we have not been reckless in borrowing and in spending. It is worth noting that the debts we are serving were not only contracted during the period of this administration. We will spend money on things that are urgent, to build roads and bridges and schools, to train our young people and equip them to face a competitive world. Ghana is trying to secure a $3 billion loan from the IMF to help its economy recover. The government is negotiating with its external creditors for a debt restructuring program, which it hopes will help make Ghana's debt sustainable. It's a key requirement needed before it gets the IMF support. The government hopes to get the IMF loan by April. Concluding the arrangements with the fund will not restore our fortunes overnight, but it will set us on the road to recovery. With fiscal discipline, we will regain the trust and confidence of our business partners and the investor community, which will give us space to continue our productive plans and policies. But many traders want urgent steps taken to tackle the high cost of doing business as the economy continues to suffer from high inflation and a weakening currency. The depreciation of the CD against the dollar is really affecting my business. I want the president to do everything possible to address it. It may be a long road before Ghana's economy will bounce back, but President Ekufado says he is committed to steer the country to overcome the challenges. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.